The Razer Blade Advance model from last year has been my daily driver for the last 12 months, and besides a few irks I have with it, I've been pretty happy with my purchase. But there's one thing that I'm going to show you how to fix today. Welcome to Top Spec, your one stop shop for tech content. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to fix the dreaded blue screen problem the Razer Blade family of laptops has. Disclaimer, I have only tested the method I'm going to teach you today on my Razer Blade Advanced model from early 2019, but I presume it will work on other Razer Blades as well, and it's pretty easy so you won't be wasting much time if it doesn't. Also, this video is probably going to be niche as hell, but I haven't found any other videos on YouTube describing what I'm going to tell you today, and so I felt obligated to share it with you guys. So anyways, the error message, as the title implies, is a video TDR failure, which essentially is caused when your graphics card gets overloaded, but I'm not going to delve too much into the specifics of that today. What you're here to learn is how to get rid of the blue screening, the first step of which is to make sure that you have GeForce Experience installed and updated to the latest version. Then, if that doesn't help, click the link in the description to go to the Razer Support website. Here, you'll want to click on the specific model of your computer, click Hardware Drivers, and then find your graphics driver. My Blade has an NVIDIA RTX 2060, so I downloaded the Advanced Model RTX driver. Oh, and I should probably explain what we're doing right now. Essentially, the drivers that Razer ships out on these laptops are for some reason broken or outdated, so we're just restoring them to the version that they should have. Anyways, from here you just have to run through the installation wizard, go back into GeForce Experience to make sure everything is up to date again, give your computer a quick restart, and hopefully that should fix the crashing. I actually wasn't intending on fixing the crashing when I figured out how to do this, Instead, I was experiencing some stuttering in VR games, and I figured reinstalling the drivers couldn't hurt, and not only did it fix the stuttering in the VR games, but it also fixed the crashing. But that's it for this video guys, make sure to leave down below what model of laptop you have and whether or not this worked for you, because I'd like to know whether or not this method is universal across all of Razer's laptops, or it only happened to work with last year's early advanced models from 2019. But yeah, give this video a like if it was helpful to you. We make a lot of tech content, including reviews, tutorials, and comparisons. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time we upload. But until then, see you next time.